welcome back to my channel. So as you guys have seen by the title of today's video, today I am actually going to be testing cider clothing. I have actually ordered quite a few lovely bits, so I'm actually hoping, fingers crossed, that they are okay because I actually first heard of cider from uh, getting Facebook advertisements from them and when I saw the photos of their clothing and stuff, I was like, oh my god, I need to try them out because yeah, their kind of style is very like it's a lot more grown up but very classy um and you know, the clothes do look very expensive it is quite affordable i was very surprised and i did actually order quite a few things from you know, the 60 percent off sale as well so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to keep a few things and i'm also hoping you know, the quality is going to be good as well because it's nothing worse when you order something and you know, the quality is absolutely shite. I am very excited to actually see you know, what I've ordered and obviously try them on. It's going to be a try on haul so I'll be able to see you know, what they kind of look like on me as well. But before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It'd be nice to get to a like goal of 50 likes on this video. Also make sure to subscribe as well because we are nearly at 4,100 subscribers so please we keep subscribing and without further ado, let's get on the video. Right, so to start off, I'm actually going to start with a lovely little top. So, it is called a floral rib blouse shirt and this actually wasn't in the sale but it is £22 in a size extra small and this looked very cute and very my style because it actually looks like my Ikea bed in a little bit and it is pink and white. So here it is. How stunning is this top? I mean, it is absolutely stunning. It kind of have puff, it does have puff shoulders. It's got you know, the kind of corset style on the front. It's got like the kind of cuffed the sleeves at the end. It is balloon sleeved. Um, and you know, the quality does feel okay. It does feel a bit thin, but not awfully thin. Um, and like it also has a zip at the back as well. And it isn't an, an extra small in case you are wondering um, and these kind of corset style tops do seem to contour my body really well so I am hoping it will fit fingers crossed the boat it, it does have like these the little kind of florally designs on it the pink and white the 22 pounds I don't I think it's too bad considering Zara and places for selling this will probably sell it for £30 or something um, and just to quickly note the delivery time it didn't actually take it too long I think it only took about like four to five days but yeah it's not actually too bad to be honest but yeah I'm very excited to try this on so I'm going to try this on for you now but so far looking at it I am I am overly pleased I'm not like over the moon about it because as I said, the quality isn't the best, but it might be better on me. Who knows? Who knows? But this is the first little top. Very, very cute and girly. Right, so here is this top. Yeah, my opinions on this, it does fit really perfectly on here. On the arms as well. However, these sleeves, have you seen the size of these sleeves? They have bloody bingo wings. But anyway, yeah, it does fit me really nicely. It is very comfortable to wear. Only thing is as well, you know, the zip on the back here, it does feel really cheap and it is kind of one of those zips where it will break easily. So I'm not exactly really happy about this top. I was hoping really good things for this but you know, the sleeves have let me down and you know, the zipper on the back has let me down. But overall it is like a really comfortable top. It isn't itchy or or too big anywhere because this does fit really well. Then we have a dress and yeah, this was actually in the sales. This is called the Retro Print Mini Halter Dress and this is in, the, in a size extra small. This is meant to be £30. I got this for £15, so half price pretty much which is really good. So yeah, the print is so cool. Yeah, right, so it, it is going to be really hard to show but it obviously does have the halter kind of neck on here, so like you tie this up around your neck, as you can see. It actually matches this top that I'm wearing actually, and like it basically goes out. Um, and this design is so cool. 
I have never had a halter neck dress before and I am actually into a bit of retro clothing at the moment. So this is very, very nice. It is very flowy. It does actually have a couple of layers on, if you guys can see that. And it also zips up at the back to a certain point as well. Only up to there. Um, yeah, this actually feels pretty decent quality. It's slightly better quality compared to the yeah, the kind of top I showed you before. But this is actually double layered as well. So like it, it won't be see-through. But this does feel very nice. I have got a feeling it is going to be slightly too big because it just, it just looks very big around here. But we'll wait and see anyway. Yeah, but extra small. I love the retro style clothing. Now my style is kind of changing a bit and I'm kind of going for more kind of grown up but retro kind of styles and I love it. Yeah, so I'm hoping this will suit me. I love the colours so much. So, yeah. I'm going to go and try this on now. Guys, this dress is absolutely stunning. It's just a shame it is way too big on here because like, literally my boobs right there and like it literally is so big and even on the back as well it is so 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 big. However this is really cute and does suit me very well but I think that this will definitely fit a size 10 person. So if you like look at the dress and yeah, like a size 10, definitely get an extra small because it's actually so big on me. Um, I think it does suit me very well in mind, but like it's a shame about it being a bit too big on me. But, you know, yeah. I do have to return this, but it's, it's so cute and even this bit as well, like you know, the kind of frills and everything. But yeah, I am sad about it. I'm not going to lie, I'm quite sad because I'm going to a concert in two days and I was kind of thinking, Oh, this would fit in perfectly with the concert we're going to, but I was not going to be able to wear it now because otherwise my boobs would literally fly out of it. But yeah, I'm sad, but I'm not annoyed. Then we actually have another dress here. So this is called Flora Ruffle Toil D Joy Midi Dress. This is a midi dress. So that, does that mean it goes to like your knees? I, I'm trying to remember because it's maxi midi and mini, isn't it? I think this goes to your knees because obviously maxi is like the really long one. It, but it just is this, oh my god, where's the top of it? it it's kind of florally designed again, so this is very similar to the first top I showed you. Um, and like it's got like the kind of bust area, I think it also is a bit corsety. Or maybe not actually. Um, and this obviously goes down to just after my knees actually, because I am 5 foot 1 for reference. And the midi dresses are often maxi dresses on me because I'm just so short. It's this lovely kind of florally design. It's in an extra small again. I did get everything in an extra small because I just want to be very careful. Um, and like it also got, it also kind of cuts off here, which I think is really cute. So it's kind of roots and kind of cuts off the one leg. I think it also has like a little underskirt as well, which is actually really good. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is very cute and I don't actually wear a lot of kind of blue clothing. And this does give off the wedding vibe so if this actually does suit me and fit me i don't think i have any weddings this year but if i if i ever do go to Wednesday or christening or something i'll definitely wear this but yeah i'm very excited to try this on and i absolutely love the little frills on this dress how adorable is that not exactly all poly quality because if you've ever ordered from all poly you'll know what the quality is like but it is very it is very good quality probably same quality as the other dress I showed you, yeah, but I'm going to try this on again. I don't even think I have to e explain myself to be quite honest with you all. This is so big. The zip is so dodgy. I am definitely not keeping this. So this bit here is a bit high up to where my boobs are. Yeah, my boobs are like here. This is like here, but I can't even move it down. Yeah, this is very baggy. Very creased as well. And it's definitely... A maxi dress on me, as I said. It's a very cute design, but I think I'm going to stick to all poly for my dresses to be quite honest with you all. I'm not... <sighs> the quality's okay. It isn't the best. We have a retro print in mini noted pants skirt. So this is basically like a pleat shorts slash a skirt. And, and this was £20 in extra small. And this is very cool actually. Oh wow. Alright, so basically what you do is like you obviously tie this up at the front so like it'll go like this. It is really hard to show. It kind of has like a few frills and stuff and this is very like obviously kind of 
as techie type vibes in a way but like, the colours on this oh my god actually unbelievable they look like yeah, they will go past my bum anyway which is good because like, I hate the shorts and skirts when they are like extremely short but I've got this in extra small as I said like, the colours are really cool and this is the back as well so it's like you know, the back of them Wait, did I have a zip? We do have a mini zip on the side as well, which is good. I always find with certain shorts and skirts, if they have a zip on them, it'll more likely fit you because like, it's obviously going to tighten around your waist. Because I do have quite a small waist, so I do struggle with you know, things being too loose around, around the waist. But I am very happy with this. It is £20, so it's slightly more expensive, but the quality of this does feel excellent to be honest and I absolutely love the little frills on this as well I think I, I think it's gonna be very cute here we go well <laughs> what can I say the quality isn't too bad I just don't think I really suit these to be honest I hate to say it but I just don't think these are really for me they are a bit too big it looks like everyone's sending these back they do look really nice it would just be not on me. <laughs> it probably have someone else who's nice and tanned, got like really dark hair, a bit taller, but on myself who's five foot one, very pale, got a more kind of lighter brownish hair. But definitely a no, so I am gonna be sending this back, I'm afraid. So I'm basically sending five out of the six items back, which is quite bad. Considering most other hauls, I probably want to send back one or two items, so I'm not very happy to be honest with the outcome but at least I've tested it all so you don't have to try it out you know. We have a floral rib strapless top extra small £17 so it is another of these floral prints honestly I cannot get enough of these but I decided to do sell a lot of these kind of styles this is a strapless top it's absolutely tiny oh my god this is actually one of the things that has been you know, popping up on my Facebook advertisement and I just thought to myself I'm making an order on cider I might as well order it it, it was in my size extra small like I am praying it fits me it, it's so cute it's like a darker pink compared to the first top I showed you but like it's still a very similar design and like it also goes down to like a little angle and this is the back this has got a little zip on there and like it does have you know, these type of things which helps a grip onto your skin. I've still got a slight feeling it is going to be slightly too big because I do have quite a small kind of like body here but if this fits me I will be keeping this. Like how strong is that? Yeah, this top is so cute and also does fit me really well and the zip on this one isn't as cheap as the other one so I think I might be keeping this because I feel as if these corsety tops actually fit me really well because like they are very kind of contouring um, and if my boobs were any bigger I'll definitely struggle to fit into this so thank god I do have small boobs it is kind of it is a blessing in a way I suppose yeah this was, was £17 is it? I think it was £17 actually not too bad in price what it is it is really good quality like the contouring thing on it is so nice um, extra small if I jump it won't move down which is good because I usually have that problem with strapless things but this actually fits so well so it looks like it is a winner praise the lord finally found something I'll be keeping hopefully fingers crossed as long as it won't like break on me or anything then but yeah and then finally for this little haul we have a floral ruffle the corset the tank top this is meant to be 17 pounds but i got this in the sale for 10 pounds so absolute bargain extra small and multicolored and yeah, this is a type of top the way you actually tie it up at the front so I, it has arrived opened up but if you can imagine it comes very uh like this wait oh god like this the type of things like it'll come like that and this is very different for me because I never really go for anything kind of like this but it is very multicoloured so like it does have the yellow floral straps and like it does have the little clasp on here which I am going to clasp a few of them up just to show you what they look like all sorts of different flowers on there it is corsety however this 
he's an extra small and this looks absolutely huge like he actually like the, the gap in this is actually so big so I don't really have high hopes for this and sometimes when certain clothing items are in the sale you know they can be too big or or something or something kind of wrong with them in a way but let's hope it is very summery vibes right so i was certainly right about this being too big because it literally is so big even on the back as well there's so much space so if i did have slightly bigger boobs i think this would fit me but i don't even think it really suits me that well either like they leave your guys' like, opinions at this top, but I don't exactly think I suit this the most, if that makes sense. So it looks like I am sending this back. If you were a size 8 kind of girl, I would say this will fit you. Yeah, but because I, I am very small on here and I do have small boobs, it just isn't doing anything for me right now. But yeah, I mean, it's a shame, but I mean, it wasn't a sale of £10, so... What can I say? Anyway guys, so in my opinion of cider, I think the clothes they do look very lovely, they're very they're very classy, very different as well. However, not everything is as it's meant to be, you know what I mean? So you know, the quality of a few things haven't been the best. You know, the sizing is very varied in certain items as well. Um, and I think you know, they should definitely have a size 4 on there as well for us like size 6 girls who maybe struggle with their tops being slightly too big on us and stuff because a few of the things I've absolutely loved but they have been too big and that is very disappointing considering in a lot of other clothes places I do fit in, I do fit into an extra small perfectly but that just shows you that the different clothing sizes is varied at different places which it is very annoying but it is what it is but overall i am very pleased with items would i make an order again possibly the quality is similar to sheen sometimes if certain items are more true to size i definitely would make an order like everything it looks exactly like the photos which is good everything it does look like the photos as well which is perfect because there's nothing worse when things arrive and they don't they look like the photos but i mean i am happy with everything but i'm not over the moon if you know what I mean. Please let me know if you guys have ever made an order on Sheen and tell me your experience because I think it would be kind of nice to kind of find out how other people have found cider. If you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a, a thumbs up and also subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!